Hello everyone, Rika here, and welcome to Tree Hugger. So this is a sequel to Colin's Nightmare, um, which I played, I want to say a month or two ago, somewhere around there. Um, but I, I'm kind of excited because I really enjoyed Colin's Nightmare. It was like a interactive horror storybook, which kind of reminded me of, like, the living books, if you guys remember those, but, um, let's start. Oh. Oh, I already do not like this. Okay. I don't know, guys. Oh, jeez. What? Uh, e? Space? Uh. Oh, shift to run this way. Come on. Okay. What if we go this way first? Nope. Oh, well that just means to move the flashlight. Okay. Do I have infinite sprint juice? Um, okay. Oh. Shift! Run away! God! Ah, gee, ah, jeez! Ah! Uh, the fact... Okay, the only thing is that the fact that he doesn't go straight where the, where the flashlight is pointing... Oh, I found, I found a treasure! I, I, I found it! No! Okay, that's my only complaint so far, is that if I press W, which is forward, right, wherever I'm looking should be where I'm going. At least that's that's the way I'm, I'm used to it, because like, right now, this is backing up, right? So I guess that makes sense, but this is still going forward. So like, if I'm pressing W, I shouldn't be like walking backwards is the only only thing that that's the only thing but I'll, I'll get used to the controls baby what 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 whoa 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 no 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 okay I have got my hand in such an awkward position right now. Like, guys, you don't even know. Like, this is crazy. So crazy. Oh, jeez. Okay. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No. Ah! Oh. 
Okay. Okay. I think I've got my hand positioned properly. Let's try this again. Okay. So... Is there a way to heal? Like... Oh god, I'm terrible. Come on! Ah, oh, jeez. Alright. Oh. Alright. At least you don't run out of sprint juice, so that's a good thing. Why couldn't I- oh, because there's trees there, right. Gonna make it. Yeah. Okay. I'm supposed to dodge these things. Like, I could dodge these ones okay if I can remember how to go forward! And like, how does, how does your stamina, or not your stamina, how does your health recharge? Does it recharge? Oh, this is the end of the line, huh? Why didn't he m go back? <sighs> okay. treasures. Like, I can't... Okay. Like, I only found one. So where... Where are they? You hid them! Okay. 
Uh, well, of course they'd be hidden, Rika. Come on. Oh. Oh, we can lure it a little bit. No. Is this why the game is called Tree Hugger? Because you're supposed to hug the trees? One more. We've got half of our life left. I think we can do this if we can just get past this weird slicey dicey thingy. No, there's nothing there. Well, where do I go then? Oh, over here. Okay, I got them all. Now what? I got, uh, oh, enter my car. Okay. You got it, game. We did it. Is that the end? No, that's just the first level. Um, hello? Hello? Are you there? Oh, uh, hey, yeah. I can hear you. Okay. Did you get the treasures that were hidden in that forest? I did, but I almost died! Man, it wasn't even that much! This stuff is worth like $500 max! $500? It can't be that low. I mean, didn't you get a huge diamond and some freaking gold bars? <laughs> yeah, but those things look cheap! I doubt they can be worth that much, and even if they are, they are completely covered in dirt and grass and what seems to be... Ugh, I don't even want to know, to be honest. Okay, well, it doesn't even matter, because I have another, even better mission for you! <sighs> Does it involve malice? <laughs> no mission is without malice. Thought you knew this already. The thing is, it's an area in another forest, very deep in it. It is called the Sazazuki Temple, and it is said an unbelievable amount of treasure lie there. Too much for a human to even spend in a lifetime, in fact. Huh? No! If there is so much treasure there, no. isn't there a good chance that it has already been taken? Well, or guarded! There is the main problem for you, actually. Many people that have tried getting into that temple have failed miserably, and a lot of them have had to seek mental health or something oh! because of some major PTSD from the trip. What the? Great. How do you expect me to even attempt to go into that thing after hearing that? Is that... Yeah, yeah. I'm with this guy! This mission is mostly optional, of course, but you gotta remember, there is a whole lot of treasure in there. And if we got our hands on it, we would be living like kings. I'll think about it. See you later, man. Yeah, see ya. Or you could just hire Henry Stickman. Hmm. Like, hire him. Living like kings, see? Is this... is this the temple? You know what? Oh, man, no, I don't know if it saves. I might have to do this all in one. Um, if it's too long, I'll break it up.
Okay. What? There we go. Okay. Nothing there. So I must have been going the right way over here. So what about that? Come on. Oh. Wait. There we go. Okay, I'm in the te I'm in the temple now. Okay. save okay okay so it's saved it's saved it's saved 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 can I escape okay so yeah it saves so I can quit we're gonna end this episode here I think we double check yeah we're gonna end the episode here and um, I will pick this up in another one and uh, we'll do the temple. We'll try to find all three bodies and we'll try to find all the treasure and not fall off cliffs anymore because that was, I think, what happened. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. And just remember, everything blue is awesome. Brika, signing out.